Welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook post in Canva. It's very easy to do and if you'd like to follow along you can click the link in the description to do so or simply use it for easier login access. So once you're on the main dashboard for Canva simply click on the create a design button right here. This is going to bring up a section where you have a lot to choose from when it comes to creating your design. Now you may or may not have creating a Facebook post right here which is completely fine. If you don't see it what you can do is click on social media and it should be right here. Even if you still don't see it you can narrow it down by going to Facebook here or simply typing in just like Facebook. And you're going to notice if we do Facebook post it's really going to narrow it down. They're going to have specific I guess you could say templates or niches when it comes to creating these but Probably what you're going to want to use is one of these. We have the landscape, which is 940 by 788, another landscape, and we have square. For this, I'm going to go with this one, the 940 by 788. I'm going to click right here. So now you know how to get to the Facebook post design, of course. So here's the cool part. This is going to be 90% of the hard work. Just like with most of my Canva tutorials, this comes down to picking a template that you like and really just changing it around and making it to your liking. As an example, let's just say we want to type in something. I'm going to do marketing. This could be something that you might want to use. You could be a little bit more specific. I'm going to just kind of scroll through and show you like what it would look like. What I recommend when it comes to templates too is that don't worry about like if there's a person on there that you don't want. You can obviously remove them, but if the colors are good, the layout is good, and really you only have to change a few things, it's going to be much quicker. Also, something to keep in mind, this says we are hiring, but if you happen to like this, it doesn't mean you can't use it because you're most likely just going to change out the we are hiring, the text, and everything else that comes along with it. Now, given the fact that this is a Facebook post, I'm going to look for something, say like a motivational quote. Here we go. That's very popular when it comes to Facebook. This is going to make your life a whole lot easier as well. Let's see. So stay focused on the goal and make the past a lesson. I'm going to do something where I could maybe showcase an island in the background because it's going to match my branding. So let me look for something like that. Give me one second. All right. So I found this one here. While this is going to be a Canva Pro template, I think it's a really good one because it's very flexible and you can do a lot of things. So I'm just going to add this in and show you how it works. Keep in mind, Canva Pro does come with a free trial. So you can at least always test them out and use some of their templates when utilizing it. So let's click on this once. And all right, so let's start from the top. Let's just say this is going to be Marketing Island. And we'll do this. Let's see, change this around. There's not a whole lot to change here. Let's just say this is do your best. You know, this is just an image actually, I believe. So we could actually just take this out. What we can do is add some text here. Let's do a, let's say like a heading here, or we could do something like this. I think these look pretty cool. Keep it simple. Let's just say we're going to go with that. Make it a little bit smaller. Perfect. Now, if you wanted to not use something like this, just simply add in text and of course, change it around, right? I think that's going to be pretty basic. We have our image here. So I'm going to go to my images and uploads and find a picture of me. All right. So I could use technically a logo here if you have a logo or you could just use an image of yourself. I'm going to use an image of me. What I want to do is drag and drop it into there and you're going to notice how uh, it's kind of cut off there, which is completely fine. If you do that, all you have to do is click on your image, click on the crop right here, and now we can do this. We can drag it down, make it look a little bit better so you can actually see the person, the image, or obviously me in this case. Uh, I do have a transparent picture, so it actually blends in almost too much. What I'm gonna do is just go with my logo instead. So I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna drag and drop it in here, and I think that looks so much better. Okay, so keep it simple. I think that's fine and centered. Now what I can do is go all the way back up. Let's say I wanna use an image as the background instead of just kinda of keeping it plain like that. So let's go with something like this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make it bigger like this. And what I wanna do is right click on it and I'm gonna do a layer and I wanna do send to back. Perfect. So now I'm going to have kind of like my island thing there. Probably have to mess around with it. My pictures are very big, so I can make them bigger without them looking too distorted. Or maybe something like that. Let's see. I think that looks kind of fine. It's, I mean, it's really kind of nitpicking, right? So uh, you can do what you want with your own pictures. That's just kind of an idea of what you can do in terms of adding a background. And in my opinion, it's just such a quick way to creating a Facebook post as we talked about. That's pretty much going to be it. If you want to add anything else in terms of little designs, additions, logos elsewhere, pictures, images, you name it, you can do it. But this is going to be kind of the recap here. We're searching for a Facebook post that we can create. And from then, you're looking for a template that you don't really need to edit all that much. We made edits to say the text 
text, the username, the logo. We used the picture, then we changed it to an image there. We have our nice little slogan there. And then of course we made the background a little bit better to make it look more vibrant, match the brand. These are all things you can do, but I hope you got some value out of this. And before, when you're done, just in case you're not familiar with how to, click on share. Click on download, you have a PNG that's gonna work just fine. Click on download right here and you, my friend, have just created a Facebook post in Canva very quickly, hopefully by following this tutorial. If you got any value out of this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton. And if you made it to the end, a virtual high five for you. I will leave a link in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.